D-O-N-K-Don-K-E, the biggest force you'd find around. Hello, people. My name is DJ Tiko. Hello, my name is Beauty. Keep watching Dazzy TV and subscribe to it. Make sure you subscribe to Dazzy TV. That's the best. And make sure you subscribe to Dazzy TV. Keep it black. All right, so make sure you subscribe to Dazzy TV. Thank you very much for watching Dazzy TV. I have a breaking news for you. The University of Cape Coast Council has appointed Professor Johnson Yakubu Ampem as the Vice Chancellor and Mr. Jeff Tell Nimando Onyami as Registrar. So that is the breaking news coming from University of Cape Coast. The appointment of the two takes effect from the 1st August 2020. You know, Professor Johnson Yakubu Ampem will be taking over from Professor Joseph Gatti Ampia, whose term of office expires 31st July 2020. He is currently the Provost of the College of Health and Alliance Sciences at the University of Cape Coast. I'm talking about Professor Johnson Yankum. Yankum Wampe, that is the new Vice Chancellor for the University of Cape Coast. Yes, that's the new Vice Chancellor for the University of Cape Coast. From the statement which you see on your screen very soon, yes, which you see on your screen very soon, it says that uh, the, it is announced for the information of the university community and the general public that it is a special meeting held on 17 June 2020. The University of Cape Coast Council took the following decision. Yes, you are going to see that on your screen very soon. Yes, so appointment of the Vice Chancellor. The Council appointed Professor Jones, Johnson Yakubon, currently Provost of the College of Health and Allied Sciences, as the new Vice Chancellor of the University of Cape Coast for initial four year term office for your term office with effect from 1st August 2020. Professor Johnson Yakum Wampen will take over from the incumbent Vice Chancellor, Professor Joseph Gatti Ampia, whose term of office ends on 31st July 2020. Appointment of Registrar also says that Council appointed Mr. Jeff Te Onyami, Imano Onyami, currently the Director of Academic Affairs as the new Registrar of the University of Cape Coast. Mr. Onyame's appointment takes effect from 1st August 2020. Mr. Jeff Tay Onyame will take over from the incumbent register, Mr. John Kofinyan, when his term of office ends in 31st July 2020. Signed, John Tay You know, when this issue broke up, ATLFM were the first to break the news. And then during the drive time show, what the dawn, Don K, could your day of our news team broke the news? on air so just go and listen to how he read the news to the university community all right so uh, that's all you have welcome could you day uh thank you very much uh, don k you usually don't visit me on the draft time but yeah, it's a course. surprise having you here this uh, afternoon what's the good news there's good news and playing the uses the answer there's good news and there's a special information mm. to okay. the university community and the general public there's a notice of appointment of new vice chancellor and new registrar for the university of cape coast it is announced for the information of the university community and the general public that at its special meeting held on 17 june 2020 that's today the university of Cape Coast Council took the following decisions as appointment of Vice Chancellor. Council appointed Professor Johnson Nakumbuampo. He is currently the Provost of the College of Health and Allied Sciences as the new Vice Chancellor of the University of Cape Coast for an initial four year term of office with effect from 1st August 2020. Professor Johnson Nakumbuampo will take over from the incumbent Vice Chancellor, Professor Joseph Gatti Ampia, whose term of office ends on 31st July 2020. And then on the appointment of Registrar, Council appointed Mr. Jeff Tay Emmanuel Unami, currently the Director of Academic Affairs as the new Registrar of the University of Cape Coast. Ms. Unami's appointment takes effect from 1st August 2020. Mr. Jeff Emmanuel Unami will take over from the incumbent Registrar, Mr. John Kofinyan, when his term of office ends on 31st July 2020. And this is signed by the Registrar and Secretary of Council, John Kofinyan. It was signed today. So that's the good news. All right. Yeah. Thank you for that uh, good news. Uh, could you die from the uh, newsroom? But you, you're going... I, well, I mean, I, I'm I'm a prophet of uh, not doom, a prophet of mm. good news. So mm. when when the news is ended, I have to. <laughs> you know, an angel of death. Angel not of at death. all. I come with good news. I come with good all news. right. So we say congrats. Congrats to you. all of them. Congrats yes, all yes, of them. yes. And to you, all of us in the community. Yes, exactly. Is such a good news to you us. They also they have a lot of good things to bring on board. So all so right. Good. So on the usual on the drive on Wednesdays. We have so for the good news, yes, this is a very good news for the university community and congratulations to Professor Johnson Yakumbuampem as the new Vice Chancellor for the University of Cape Coast. Those of you who don't know him, you can see his picture on your screen right now. He's the new Vice Chancellor 
for the University of Cape Coast. But just to get to know a little bit about the man we are talking about, let's go through his profile a little bit for you to know that man we are, we are celebrating today as the new Vice Chancellor for the University of Cape Coast. As you are seeing on your screen, yes, as you are seeing on the screen right now, Professor Johnson Yakubompe is a pharmacist and a bio biomedical scientist. Yes, he became provost of the College of Health and Allied Sciences after completing his three year term as the Dean of School of Biological Sciences. So, all in the University of Cape Coast, Ghana. He headed the Department of Biomedical and Forensic Sciences for five good years prior to becoming the Dean. He led the department to establish the following programs Certificate in Herbal Medicine, now UCC run Herbal Medicine. So, if you are watching this program, you should know that. He's also having a herbal medicine as a department, biomedical, biomedical sciences, biomedical science, forensic sciences, and field and PhD in the drug discovery and toxicology. He also promoted the establishment of functional laboratory to advance research in the school of biomedical sciences. As a dean, he ensured the renovation and refurbishment of the other laboratories, planting of new seedlings in the botanical garden, and enhanced international collaborations. As a provost, he has he has championed the establishment of the School of Pharmacy and Pharmaceutical Science, which will run Doctor of Pharmacy program. So this is some of the biography, something that Professor Johnson Yakubompe has done. In fact, he has a track record. Yes, he also he also researched, he also has an interest, interest cover multidiscipline areas, like reflection of his diverse professional training in the area of biomedical science and pharmacy. So this is the man we are talking about here. Yes. So he he, he is um, Professor Bomper has also taught parasitology, parasitology, yes, <laughs> a supervised undergrad and postgraduate that's Enfield and PhD student with diverse backgrounds. So you know, science science terms are very sometimes very difficult to pronounce. So you just have to forgive me for that. So Professor Bomper is a product of Tokyo Women's Medical University, Japan, where he obtained his PhD in tropical medicine in 2004 to 2007. This is the professor we are talking about, we are celebrating today, yes. This is the professor we are celebrating today, yes. This is the professor we are celebrating today, yes. So um, he's a product of Tokyo Women's Medical University, Japan, where he obtained his PhD in tropical medicine. That's from 2004-2007 as a Japan International Corporate Agency, JICA. He's a JICA scholar. He did his postdoctorate research at the Postgraduate Institute of Medical Education and Research. Yes, also from from India. Yes, so um, he has so many experiences. He is the professor we are talking about, and congratulations to him. To, to him, yes. So when you talk about awards, yeah, he has received a lot of them. He won um, Norwegian University of Science and Technology Award. That's Global Mobility Grant. That's 2018, 2018, and a Senior Volunteer Grant. Japan International Cooperation Agency. That's 2012. He won that award. Japanese Travel Grant to attend a forum on infection and immunity. That's from also Japan in 2012. So many awards is credit. Yes. Yeah, so this is the man we are celebrating today. Best poster presentation that is a golden research conference um newport road that's 20 2008 that's in u.s so yes best teacher award second prize Ghana education service center 2001 so this is the man we are celebrating today he has so many things on, on on his belt as a as a chancellor of the university of cape coast so we are celebrating him today because what he has done he deserved to be to to be the vice chancellor of the University of Cape Coast. So moving on from there, so this man also, he was appointed as a registrar. Yes, Mr. Jeff Tay Onyame. Yeah, Jeff Tay Onyame also been appointed as the registrar of the University of Cape Coast. Yes, so been appointed as the registrar of the University of Cape Coast. So as you're seeing, that's the library of the University of Cape Coast, as you're seeing on your screen yeah, so when you also when you read the statement when you also check it out his profile he's he's the man he's the man of the job he's the man of the church he also have he, he he also he's having so many things under his under his belt because jeff tenyame holds masters of philosophy that's administration in higher education and bachelor of arts secretaryship in addition to diploma in education from the university of cape coast so, so yes yeah, so he holds a, a certificate of french language proficiency from the center international 
that's French language. <laughs> I'm finding it difficult to pronounce it because that's it. Retournia Etel de Loguer, village du Beni, Lomi Togo. His research interests are st staff recruitment and retention, academic management, and staff welfare. So he is now the registrar of the University of Cape Coast. Jeff is also a professional fellow of the Chartered Institute of Administrators and Management Consultant of Ghana, a professional member of the Council for Advertisement. Advertisement and support of education CAS. that's the case yeah an affiliate of institute of public relation ipr ghana he is a member of ghana association of university administrators GAR, and has worked as a professional university administrator at the university of cape coast over 27 good years yes over 27 good years this is the man we are celebrating today today he's the registrar of the university of cape coast this is the man we are talking about today as you can see his picture on your screen if you don't know him that is the man we are celebrating today so congratulations to the two for emerging as as as, as the new vice chancellor and registrar respectively so congratulations to them they deserve it they deserve it so when you check their profile out you will see the man we are talking about on your screen he has so many things under his belt so congratulations to you Mr. Jeff Tay, uh, and as the new registrar of the University of Cape Coast and the uh, new vice chancellor of the University of Cape Coast, Professor Johnson Yakumpuampim. Today is your day. Congratulations to you for emerging as the as the new vice chancellor of the University of Cape Coast. This is the up close of the new chancellor and the registrar of the University of Cape Coast. So thank you very much for watching does the tv if there's any th other news coming from university of cape coast i'll be here to serve you with the great news help me wish them successful tenor as they take over from professor joseph gati ampia and kojunyai as the new as the uh, vice chancellor and the registrar of the university of cape coast so thank you very much for watching does the tv you know you we always we break the news for you to know what is going on in the University of Cape Coast. So click on the subscribe button to get notification when I upload a new video so that you can get opportunity to watch. I'll give you an update what is what going on in the University of Cape Coast campus during this uh, period for the final year students who are coming to write their exams in the University of Cape Coast. Make sure you subscribe to Dazzy TV to get notification anytime I upload a new video on Darcy TV. God bless you.